One of the stars of my thrilling new documentary novel is called Elo Numusk. And he is uh, a part of the West Oria Empire. West Oria. And uh, he has become the technological god of this area, the, the new people they worship. And he will be the one who implements the chips inside people. He was seen uh, years before this empire fell uh, on this planet far, far away in a galaxy long, long gone. That, um, he brought the chips to people. He, he started implementing chips into animals. And then he became the king of chips in the hand. Like, we have these chips in our hand right here. Like, I'm talking to you on one of these chips right here. And, uh, he promoted that the chips be installed in the human. Or, or the people I'm not sure what they called them on this planet yet we have not uh, surfaced all the information from this galaxy yet that is actually uh, and none of this actually has been confirmed so you have to deal with it on your own wow this is a lot of traffic for um, 2300 hours where are you guys going? Like, you guys going to get cheeseburgers or what? Uh, cheeseburger place is the other way, bro. You gotta go the other way. I guess they're coming back from getting the cheeseburgers. Anyways. Hey, and they're probably closed too because this thing called COVID on, in this galaxy, there's this thing called COVID that happened. But on this other galaxy, there's this guy, Elo Namusk. And uh, he was putting chips in people and, and animals. And then he, because no one else would fund the other people who wanted to uh, bring uh, freedom and safety to uh, West Oria, the land of the free, home of the brave, uh, on this other galaxy, West Oria was the land of the free home of the brave. So don't confuse that with what's going on here. It has nothing to do with anything going on here. But he began to put chips in the monkeys. And the monkeys would like uh, play video games. <laughs> the monkeys were playing video games to uh, uh, get their next bite of food. Uh, they would stick a, a straw in their mouth. And as they played the video game Pong, they would get rewarded with uh, monkey juice or whatever it is that Elon Musk had uh, put in the straws. Maybe crack cocaine, maybe methamphetamines, to be honest, like... Uh, you know, we can't put it past them, can we, bro? Uh, it, it's different. Different world. We don't have all the freaking uh, details of what was going on on this galaxy. And on these planets in this galaxy. But he uh, was promoting uh, the advancement of technology. And he had begun to set up satellites all along the planets that they had uh, occupied in that solar system in that galaxy and so uh, eventually he released his smartphone uh, you got, like there they called it you know something different than a smartphone because the language is a little bit different but here we I'm trying to speak to you in the language you know uh, smart devices. I, I don't even like the word phone. No one wants phone. No male wants phone. No male sits on the phone all day. Uh, so uh, you tricked into using a computer all day. 
and he has used these advanced technologies and now he can track everyone and his next step would have been on this planet to implant chips in everyone like he did into the monkeys and he had uh, spoke of this many times before this began to happen that this is the uh, it's called the singularity on their planet uh, I, I think they have a similar word here on this planet and on his planet the singularity occurred when everyone had to have the chip installed in order to eat food which is weird because here in this galaxy right now we have this uh, situation where if you don't have a car or a smartphone you can't go down the road here to McDonald's and get a burger right now they won't serve you a burger unless you have a chip in your smartphone hand however you want to word that a, a chip in your smartphone that's in your hand However you want to dance around the fact that I just explained that as how it's happening. Um, you go ahead, dance, you know. Dance, monkey, dance, monkey, dance, monkey, dance. That's a good song, ain't it? <laughs> Makes me feel like me sometimes. Makes me feel like it's like my theme song. Like, Anyways, um... This, uh, Elon Moose, this Elo Namos guy. What is, is this beeping at me already? Oh, no. Get the frick out of here. Uh, why is it doing that? I only understand. You know what, like, Elon, Elo Namusk, his people might have invaded our, our galaxy. And they might be in control of these devices I'm speaking to you on right here. And you need to be very careful because you can control the, the screwdriver in your hand. You think you can. You, you think you control the hammer in your hand. But do you control the TV remote? Yes. Do you control what that remote leads you to? You control the, you can press the buttons on the smart device here, the Elo Musk Pals control. But do you control what his Google family bloodline, his Google, his Facebook bloodline, his NBC bloodline, ABC bloodline. He claims he took over Twitter from evil people who are censoring it. You know, the evil people are his freaking cousins. <laughs>